guys, it's Christina here. So I'm wearing, and you know, the same thing as my last video, but that's perfectly fine. It was a freshman high school advice video, so if you want to click over that, I will link that down below, and I also have that at the end of this video. But yeah, so this is just going to be a basically a beginner starter kit for makeup. These are a couple things that I would recommend for people who are just starting out buying makeup. So the first thing here is a BB cream, and I know a lot of people are just like, oh, BB cream, blah blah. Everyone uses that. Like, why are you? Well, I personally love the oh, the, oh, love the oh, Garnier BB cream skin renew miracle skin perfector for combi combination oily skin. I said it was a powder, and I really don't have to worry about this for the rest of the night. It's really nice. Especially if you have oily skin. I know some people with oily skin can't really wear BB creams, but I would trust this one if you have oily skin. Next thing is a concealer. I would recommend the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer just because this is really good for um, spot correcting or con whatever, concealing any acne, which will I will soon erupt into a big pizza monster because school's coming up soon. But yeah, I'd recommend this one or the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. That is a little bit more of a heavy duty concealer, so if you are starting out, you probably don't really want to wear too much. The next things are powders. I would recommend either one of these two. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I love this one because it really does keep you matte for, it says about five hours, but you can always just reapply this, I mean, I don't know, at school or something like that. The next thing here is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. This one is in medium dark. This one is perfect for me because this does not make you look cakey. I mean, Skin Finish Natural, this really does look like your actual skin. And it's not, it doesn't cake up like the MAC Studio Fix Powder. So I would recommend this one, especially for beginners. Everyone and their mother uses this. So I think you should definitely pick this up and ask your math consultant which shade is good for you. So the next thing I would recommend are blushes. Blushes, I would recommend the more peacher blushes so that you don't really look too like hot pink and flushed out because that is not cute. I recommend this first one. This is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I like this one because it's really, um, it's really compact too. It comes with a mirror and a little brush if you are just, I don't know, you, you have a little brush. It is just this most gorgeous, I don't know, peachy, luminescent color that will look really fresh and clean, especially for back to school. This one is Peachy Keen from MAC. This is a gorgeous, um, almost sort of pinky peach color that is really pretty because it has a slight shimmer, so your skin will look kind of more awake and livelier, but it's not too crazy, um, bold, pink, blush. Yeah. These products are eye products. So first, when you are starting out, you want to start off with maybe a black liner, um, a liquid liner, and a mascara. My favorite mascara is Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara because I really love it because it does deliver a great amount of volume and it does stay all day. As well as the Maybelline Line Stiletto. I like this liquid liner because a liquid liner can help you look a little bit more precise and create a cleaner line as opposed to what a crayon can do. So as long as you got your liquid liner down, it, this will just like you'll be good. I can do this in about a minute. This is my um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Perversion. I love this one because this is the blackest eyeliner I've ever used for my waterline and just my tight line and I really love this because this stuff stays on for so long. For your brows, I would recommend basically just one product really. This is the NYX Eyebrow Marker Long Lasting. This one is in... What is one? Medium. This is um, just a little felt tip marker and it's really light and easy to just apply to your brows and you can just fill them in really fast and then spool it out um, and it'll look, just look really nice. As for eyeshadows, a lot of you guys probably don't want to really spend so much time in the morning. I would recommend just throwing on a cream shadow, some mascara, concealer and some cover up and then a lip gloss. That's what I would do. But I did make a running late video and that really kind of wasn't really running late. I, I even put in the disclaimer, you guys can read it, you guys can select different parts of it, but still I agree with you guys, it wasn't that running late. But um, cream shadows I would recommend, this is actually a cheaper alternative, is the Rimmel Scandalize. I will have like swatches and things like that coming up, but this one is in Bulletproof Beige. This is a really pretty champagne color. You can just apply all over your lids or even on the inner corners to make yourself look a little bit more awake. And yeah, I really like this because this is also waterproof so you know this will last so long throughout the day. The next cream shadows I would recommend are just these three. This one is here from um, Sigma. This is Persuade. And you can get 15% off up to August 28th or 9th um, off of these cream shadows and precision brushes to go with them. Um, this is Persuade and this really helps to kind of get rid of your tired eyes and your veins. This is going to create a really great base. You can apply this and then some eyeliner and mascara and you're good to go. The next one is Unveil. Now this is more of a golden 
Um, however, you can still just apply this on with some eyeliner, maybe even a wing if you wanted to because it's such a pretty gold color. Um, yeah, so I really like it because it just looks like you really tried. Meanwhile, you didn't. And then the last one is the Bare Study Paint Pot from MAC. I love this one because it's also really shimmery. One more of a paler shimmery pearlescent color on your lids to look more awake and alive. Like you won't be when you have to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning for school. Just go with this Bare Study Paint Pot. It's really nice and it's really simple to apply. As for a starter eyeshadow palette, I will be having probably a MAC starter eyeshadow palette. But um, for now, I am just going to be using the natural, Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. I love this palette so much because it also comes with these starter card thingies for all you guys starting out and who don't really know how to apply eyeshadow. But it also has its matte colors, its shimmery colors, and these are all lined up for different looks. So it's really helpful and I really love the pigmentation of these colors. Well, my favorite color in here is Honey Pot. Honey Pot is seriously just the most gorgeous gold color ever. The next things are lip products. Here is the Rosebud Salve from by Smith. This is the minted rose one and as you can see, I used up a lot of next lip glosses. I am not sponsored at all by Stila, but I just happen to have so many of these lip glosses. These are the Stila lip glazes. You can actually get a trio, I guess, at Sephora or maybe even on the Stila website. I will link them down below. But these are so nice because you just take off the cap and you really just have a little brush and you just put it back on. You don't have to take it out, apply it, blah, blah, blah. It's really nice because you can just twist up the cap and nothing is messy and nothing's going to go all over it in your backpack. My favorite one out of these all is actually the plumping lip glaze I got from IMAX. And I love this one because it smells so good and it's minty and it still makes your lips look like they're plumper. So I'd recommend these if you're starting out. They are kind of sticky but not like the MAC lip glosses. It's such a variety of colors that you really cannot go wrong. Last and final product I would recommend is a super saturated lip gloss from Urban Decay. This is a high gloss lip color and this one is seriously, this one is natural, this one is seriously the most gorgeous lip color ever because it will look gorgeous on any single skin tone and it's really natural. It stays on for so long. I love this product so much and I'm, all these products here I'm not sponsored to say oh you should check out this product because blah blah blah. I am personally just stating my own opinions. If I didn't like a product I would not tell you about it. So that is basically it for my makeup starter kit. I hope you guys check out these products and tell me if you guys have used any of these products and how you guys like them or not. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys liked this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and don't forget to thumbs up this video. And yeah, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Business Increase. Please contact me down below. I love you guys all so much and thank you guys so much for watching.